we're going wicked. We're going wicked again. So I just got done doing a vegan taste test on this ice cream that I recently uh, found at Mariano's. And I've never heard of this brand before, Wicked Kitchen. And it says suitable for vegans. It's Mark plant-based. This is uh, chocolate and it is, um, says 100% plant-based. plant, plant, plant -based. Um, I tried their chocolate chip cookie dough and that was a hit. I wanna try the chocolate and see see how the chocolate goes because I don't know about this. So for the other ice cream, the second I opened it, I could tell that it was gonna be creamy because of the richness and color. This one reminds me of, this one reminds me of the chocolate um, ice cream bars, you know, the push buggies used to do. There was one at every corner um, when I grew up on the north side of Chicago. Gentlemen used to push the push buggy and um, they'd have like watermelon flavor, coconut, ice, uh, the chocolate one. And this looks like that. It was, it was mainly water. It wasn't more so milk. It was mainly water. So this is what that's resembling to me. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I mean, there's, there seems to be, oh no, hold on a second. Let's see. Uh, there's, there's always a hit or miss when it comes to brands, right? So who knows, maybe just the chocolate chip cookie dough is good and this is not. Ready? Cheers. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Freaking you. Hold on. Mm -mm. Did I tell you that this was on clearance? Just like the other one? Why is this on clearance? This is the most creamiest ice cream, vegan ice cream that I've ever tasted that's come close to actual natural, but, or not natural, um, dairy, actual dairy ice cream that I've ever tasted. Can I talk? Is this possible? Um, this was on clearance. As I stated in the other book, I'm gonna repeat it right now, if I could talk again. Um, this was on clearance for three something. The original price was six thirty nine, and it was marked like literally it didn't say sale. It said clearance on it, and I'm like, that means that it's bad ice cream. If they're trying to like clearance it out, then you know something's up, or maybe the real retailer is not going to carry it anymore. I don't know why because this is freaking creamy as hell. Mm. Never judge a book by its cover. This is this is a very good example why. You know what else I did one time before I tasted it? There were those uh, um, rice crackers. Rice crackers from, uh, uh, hell, I'm not gonna remember the name, but it was rice crackers and they were new. I got them from Kroger's, but I, no, I don't know. I got them from Woodman's and then I found them over at Mariano's, which is Kroger's. And um, I looked at it, like I looked at the chip, I was like, oh, it's not coated, it's not gonna be good. Ended up being phenomenal. So again, never judge a book. I, I don't know why I'm in a hurry to speak because clearly it's not working in my benefit. But anyways, um, would I buy this again? Yeah, so I I normally, <laughs> I can't speak. I normally, I wanna say normally, I said naturally. I normally get um, so delicious, I, I pack my freezer with that. But hopefully if I go back to Mariano's, they still have this because, um, I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at how I can't talk for, for some reason. 
try. I've never stuttered this much. I swear to God, I've never ever stuttered like this much in the video. What's it been? Five minutes and 31 seconds. I gotta calm down. Maybe in my mind, I'm in a hurry because I gotta go to work. And that's why I'm trying to get my words out quickly. It's, it's just not working. So, um, yeah, I would buy it again, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's good. And I would definitely buy it again. And actually, I want to go back and see what other flavors that they might have. Because um, I think I spoke too soon when I, when I opened it up and I looked at it. And I swear that I'm always right when, you know, I see something. And um, no, this just proves I'm not. Anyways, yes, I would buy it again, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you for having patience with me since I have a... a uh, uh, speaking problem. But again, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What do you want? Why is your tail wagging? What? Yeah. What the hell does that mean? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go backyard? That's not the backyard. That's the that's the front yard. That's the front. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going? What is that? What are you grabbing? Look where she's taking me. Look where she took me exactly to. She took me to that, which is her leashy. And then once I came to her leashy, she showed me the door. If that isn't my dog telling me that she wants to go on a walk, then I don't know what is. Are you trying to tell me you want to go on a walk? Hmm? She's like, yes, you dumb ass. Is that what you think? I'm a dumb ass? Is it? Are you trying to tell me that you want to go on a walk? Okay. Enough with your fluffy tail. Let me finish my work and then we can go on a walk.